Zelda fans, we just got our final look at Tears of the Kingdom before release, and I have seen some awesome videos breaking down every last detail, except the music. In this video, I'm going to show you every Zelda music reference you missed from the Tears of the Kingdom trailer. I'm Kevin, and welcome to Zelda Music Theory. These chairs are so good. We've already seen our first reference. Does anyone recognize that theme? Now listen to the other one. Did you hear that? It's literally in the same key. And boom, the Zelda chord. Guys, the flat six major seven chord. So beautiful, it's everywhere in Zelda, I'm telling you. Now if you're new to the channel, you're gonna hear that term a lot more from me, the Zelda chord, just to give you a little taste. Now that was from the Breath of the Wild original trailer. How about the Tears of the Kingdom first trailer? The Zelda chord. How about the second trailer? And now here's the third and final trailer, and of course, boom, they hit you with it right away. Let's keep moving. Okay, I have to stop it there. That is so cool. Uh, the normal chord progression, uh, if we're in the key of E major, would be E major, and then D major. That's not what they do here. E major. That's the Breath of the Wild main theme. By the way, Zelda chord. I love what they did with this theme. Okay, so for those who don't know, that is sort of the King Hyrule slash Hyrule Castle theme. Originally, it comes from A Link to the Past Hyrule Castle. By the way, 8-Bit Music Theory had an awesome video on that. Go check that out. So listen to the melody here. Beautiful. That melody written by Koji Kondo ends up being developed all throughout the series. Check this out from Wind Waker. Same key as the original. Let's fade it. So what's beautiful about this theme is you get this. And then we get. But check out how Breath of the Wild uses that theme. <laughs> But what's so interesting about that is the melody's the same, but the chords are listen.
You know what? It's the same exact chords, just everything's down a half step. Listen. And now suddenly it's a little bit more depressed. Sometimes a composer will do that. They'll kind of shift things down a half step or up a half step to make it sound a little bit more bright or happy than we expected, or a little darker and more depressed. And I think that's what they've done here. Now I've heard some people compare that part to Twilight Princess. immediately. It's just kind of this E harmonic minor sound. Okay, that's definitely Ganon's theme. So beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, super cool. Okay, I don't know what they're saying. I've heard a lot of theories about this being kind of a reversed, kind of the sounds that we got in, in the previous trailers. I've done some research on it. I haven't found anything concrete yet. Let me know in the comments. Zelda, we rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. Link. How cool, oh, okay, okay. So cool, they go. So this E minor sound before they hit you with the flat two major seven of the six. Then they go to this minor seven flat five, two chord and a two five one. Five chord back to one. By the way, if I may, um, so this, obviously a reference to Right as she says Link, it's kind of this heroic champion adventure Link's theme, right, from the very original. Link. One flat seven, flat six. But then we get this very nice... Zelda chord, hello. <laughs> Beautiful, oh my gosh, there's so much in here. Obviously we got a little, the minor version of the original overworld theme. Let's keep moving. I know why I am here. It's something only... I can do. Do not look away. You witness a king's revival and the birth of his new world. I'm so excited for this game. Okay, so we kind of get that same. King's revival and the birth. 
birth of his new world. Steam again. So before we go into that last part, this time we do get from the 25th anniversary Zelda. Check this out. Very interesting, exact same key. But you are not alone. Link. You are our final hope. me let's go okay a couple of things there at the end we got this a little sacred duet again now these are little musical details that i love originally this piece get the same notes and has a totally different feel right now suddenly it's in minor and what you're getting is a five a flat seven and a four changing the the chords behind it changes the whole feel it's amazing it's super super cool now i've heard some theories about the ending here kind of involving some perversus theme I'm not sure if I buy that. It sounds a little bit similar. I think it's more coincidental. I don't think it's kind of this, oh, but Gandorf is Gerudo and Obosa was Gerudo and, you know. Okay, so quick recap. We've got this Spirit Tracks Sacred Duet. I think it's intentional. We'll give it a question mark. We've definitely got some King Hyrule, King Rohim, Bosphoramus. We've got Zelda's lullaby there at the end. We've got Link's theme or the overworld original uh, Zelda theme over and over again. We've got Ganon's theme. And then we've got a couple other things that are like, ah, is it Urbosa? Is it, you know, is it bear resemblance to some other things? Maybe. Those are all the references that I could find. There may be others. Let me know if that reversal ends up being anything. Super excited about the game, guys. I hope you are too. Be on the lookout for a much longer video where I'll go more in depth. And until next time. Zelda Music Theory, out. <laughs>